Hello, this is Death Genie, and I'm here with Mobius Killer. Uh, we're going to show off the hangar module. Say yes. hi. Hello. Okay. Hangar module is awesome, so is Star Citizen. Should yeah. Definitely invest in it. Yeah, it's... Definitely worth the investment. Oh yeah, backing it is definitely worth it, especially since you get, when you back, you get it for cheaper anyway. This right in front of me is the Aurora, but behind it is it's hiding the Freelancer, which is the ship that we really want to show off. But first, we're going to we're going to look at the Freel or the Aurora. So you use it, press F, it opens up. Then there's a ladder. It's still a little buggy. I mean, it is pre pre alpha. It's like the pre-alpha of any pre-alpha. Yeah. <laughs> like right here, you're gonna see my head's missing. <laughs> I don't need one of those anyways. <laughs> and right here, these are just—it's pressing nothing. I'm not even like directing the camera there, and then those just appear. Don't just, worry, he's a Jedi. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> uh, the animations aren't smooth yet, but it's cool that you can just even get in here and mess around in it. So that's that. Um, Pretty cool cockpit view. Here he is messing with stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the the openness of the Aurora's cockpit. Yeah, it I has do. a good field of view. Oh yeah, I like it. Uh, is the 300 Island not like that? Oh god, that was it's glitchy. Not Did too you see much. that? No, I didn't. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> they, they also included a bed, you know, for long range travel and stuff. Or if you bring your friends back, you know. Okay. Um, if, I, if I remember right, I think he hits his head when he wakes up. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't see inside this little thing from the outside, don't worry. You can't be creeped on. This metal glass is what they've called it. It's also one way, so you can see out, but you can't see in. Which I would show you, but he, there's his head going through the top, and then he hits it on that thing. <laughs> and then it also goes through at the very end. Oh, never mind, they changed that. No, maybe, I don't know. It's not and, as bad as it used to be. And uh, should I open this door and show them another glitch? Is it, yeah, is it still glitchy? Yeah, right there, did you see that? Just disappears, and then, look, the, the one it's thing still, sticks still out. some slight model glitches. Yeah. I mean, they probably just forgot to move it back after they changed something behind it or something. Yeah. Um, so that's the Aurora. It's pretty cool. Boys, does the wings come out on that? No, I don't think those it, are it wings. It looks like it looks like it has wings that would pivot out, but no, those are fixed. Yeah. It's not. I don't think it's meant to be like a jet fighter like the other ones might be. I mean, it's meant for that space. Was, that would like be almost mimicking Star Wars. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you could have an X-wing. Here's your X-wing. Or not, yeah, X-Wing, right? Okay. Um, here's the Freelancer. Look at all these missiles. <laughs> could you could you use all of these missiles at once, you think? <laughs> Just barrage them? <laughs> they, they did state that how many, they're... How many is there? Five? Plus the big one? Yeah, five plus the big one. Plus, so uh, they 12? did state that you won't be able to reload missiles in space, because that's not realistic. That's true. I mean, certain fighters do that, but they have, it's, it takes a lot of effort to do that. You get it, like little arms and you attach it and you move it, and it's not worth the effort. But you see that this big gun right here, you can put one on the bottom section down there, and you can have, it looks like a, it's just like a cool looking turret. It's a class 2, so it moves up and down. All the little like thrusters and stuff to change yes. directions. Those things are huge. You can fit in, almost inside of one. Let me, let me go to the other ones over here that are closer to the ground. Look at this. Look at this. This one's bigger, of course, but you can I'll just climb inside that thing. Yeah, I can't. It won't let me stand up. Uh, but oh well. The one in the. If you go back one more, you can. Uh, there's one. Oh, there's one back here. <laughs> the jump is still really. <laughs> <laughs> At least they fixed the run, so it's not just looks like. Doesn't just look like a walking fast. That's true. That's true. The run does look a lot better. They have but you. A lot right. better character model. So here's the staircase up. Opens up. I'm not going to spoil the cockpit. We're going to look at that last. Here's the cargo bay. Now that back door does open, but currently due to a glitch, it does not, and you can actually get stuck inside of it. Let me show you. Just. As your guy tries to do the splits. I can't jump out of it. Oh, I can move back now though. 
I wasn't able to move back earlier when I tried this. Can you access that turret yet? It's on top? Uh, no. But they, they did add the seat though. Whoops. That, that's nice. Yeah, it looks nice. I like it. It's gonna be so cool. They need to increase the crew size to like four, rather than just have two and then po possibly two passengers. Because, I mean, there's all the turrets, all these different systems, and there's so many places that you could be sitting in this thing. Those look like, I'm pretty sure those control the guns on the sides. You think I, so? I don't know, they're, they're in line with the guns on the outside, it looks like. from. That's true, but there's pipes and wires running up and down the whole thing anyway, so. Oh, well, that's true too. And then, of course, the here's the cabinets or something, and there's a sink and what I believe to be a microwave. It could be a TV. <laughs> Intergalactic TV. television. Above your sink. That's the best place for it. <laughs> <Above your sink. laughs> you have all these nice displays and you have a CRT TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we even have it? Why would you? Nah. No. It would, okay. <laughs> I mean, those those look kind of like CRT, but they're also just compartments. Uh, there's a toilet and a shower. It's uh, interesting. It's well designed space saver. Oh god, that's glitchy. After. There's a lot of fairly glitchy things. Okay, then there's, just, I didn't notice these before, but there's little compartments for, like, clothes down here. Oh, and they have clothes in them. Yeah. Get that out. And they're, like, they're meant to, like, open and close. You can glitch through the rail. I guess, I guess you can go commando with your one shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four beds. Four seats. Uh, I think they should expand on it and make it, like, a six-person ship with four crew members and two passengers, but that's just my opinion. You can get into both of these seats. You, it used to be you could just get in the driver's seat. This is the co-pilot seat. It is, it's, it's open. It's fairly open, but it's, I mean, there's this in the way. Yeah, but, but it, you're a frigate, or you're a freighter. You don't, you don't need all that room. You just, just gotta look forward and go forward. Yeah, go fast. Except we're gonna be pirating in it, so. Yeah, Daniel, do you, are you still gonna pirate with me in this? Yes, absolutely. I gotta get that docking collar. Oh yeah, there's one that comes with the uh, one of the ships in the pirate pack. Uh, the pirate pack, I believe it's the Cutlass. Yeah, the Cutlass, which only has two people capacity because of the fact that it's a pirating ship. There, there's no disguise there; it's a pirating ship for anyone that's. Yeah, yeah, even, yeah it's even, got a ton of guns. Yeah, far too many for just a. Uh, what it was? What is it classified as? A freighter, or is it a fighter? Or is it a transport? I don't even... Look. This is a transport, I think. I think there's a freighter class as well. I think... I don't remember. Did you have the ship specs up? Uh, I actually do. Looking with the Cutlass and the Freelancer. There's the, the default model. These windows are... I like. I kind of like the windows. The outside control is kind of wonky. And the windows, uh, they glitch around. <laughs> They, hmm. like, move on their it says own. The, the Cutlass is an easy to maintain solution for local in system militia units. So oh. it's like. So it's for the pirate militia? Yeah, pretty much. Because <laughs> Drake. I mean, Drake makes stuff so piratey, they even name it like Cutlass. I mean, come on. Freelancer lo it looks it's, cool. It's got. Like, this looks. It heavily reminds me of the Firefly. You know, from yeah. Serenity? Yeah, it looks. You just need the cargo bay on the, under the front, and then you have Yeah. <laughs> and the engines are obviously circular on that trip, too. Yeah. With not a million missiles sitting on the side. But yeah. Although, I, I think also, I prefer the missiles on the side. That's kind of cool. The, the, like, first, the f front half of the ship looks like the front half of the oh, yeah. Serenity. Cool. So the, the Cutlass has two, four, six, seven available weapons... Which, two of which are missile hardpoints, so. Yeah. It's got a, a lot of heat. I like these, uh, this right here. It's like meant for loading cargo and stuff. It's not like, uh, there's this wing, uh, he did the wingman thing like he always does. And he, he was trying to draw a picture of the constellation. It looked a lot more like the freelancer in the shape of a truck because of the cargo bay he drew. <laughs> He's like, you just, you get to the edge and you push the stuff to the edge and you just kick it. Just kick it out. Just kick it. <laughs> 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 okay, there we go. Now I got glitched. There we go. It fixed. All right. You know, the fun part about pre pre alpha is finding the glitches, not getting mad about the glitches. Yeah. He actually. Yeah, you can have now. stories. You have stories like, remember when? 
Yeah. You remember when we were glitching through the side of your 300 i Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Speaking of which, we oh. should we should your your video when you open your channel should be your 300 i Speaking of glitches, yes, we should do that. You can also Superman jump on up on top of the Aurora. Oh, how do you Superman jump anyway? And I've been on top of the Aurora. Well, well, no, no, no. You just you gotta run to the front of it. All right. It's not like really a Superman jump. It's just oh, like you can do that from the side it. too. Like right oh, here. really? Yeah, I've watch. only done it. Right here. Just like glitch through the model and then... Yeah, there we go, I'm up. See, that's that door above the bed I was talking about. It's one way, you can't just like stalk whoever's inside, just be chilling on their ship in space. Looking <laughs> looking at them. <laughs> with your, your chisel and hammer. <laughs> and you <get> <laughs> I, don't, I haven't found any easter eggs on this one yet. Like, your 300i obviously has easter eggs all over the place. You should get the yeah. colors. I was actually considering... They, I'm going back and forth between the Cutlass and the Avenger. I really want them to come with, out with the final model, or close to the final model of the Avenger, rather than just their concept drawing that they have at yeah. the moment. Okay, so this is this is the table in the, in the, uh, in the hangar, or in the business hangar. My two ships. You, drag, you can drag them in here, and you can mess with the weapons and the power and thrusters, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to do that right now, but if you right-click, you can rotate the ship around. Did I show you this already, Daniel? Yes, I was actually, you showed me yesterday, I was actually really surprised Wait, at the fact that you could do that. Okay, it makes so it a whole much easier. I'm going to move this to this side. I think that's how I'm supposed to do it. Why can't I move it? Oh, I'm not in weapons, duh. Okay, so I move this here, to this empty hard point. So right there's here. two hard points. Yeah, that's the empty one. And then, on either side of those turrets. Yeah. So yeah, we're so. going to clo go ahead and close that. And yeah, it's on the right side this time. Now you can see the full awesomeness that you can have right here. Look at this. Doesn't that just look awesome? It it just bleeds I mean, awesomeness. DPS aside, that just is a huge intimidation factor. Oh yeah. I mean, as of right now at least. And I mean, especially seen with Especially when you look at all of this. Look at this. It's like puny. And then you go to that, and it's like, boom. It's like almost something you expect on a carrier or something. But yeah. then again, the carrier weapons and turrets are going to be massive. Yeah, those are going to be bigger than this ship. This ship's only, what is it, 53 meters? Uh, Not even that. 32 meters. 32? Yeah, this is tiny. The Constellation's 53, I think. Um, Which is the ship we're going to be pirating most, by the way. It's the easiest. Easy. Yeah, yes, consolation. And then there's gonna be this turret in front, as far as I as far as I know. I mean, you're, you're gonna have two turrets there. I just moved one. Then you got all the missiles over here, and then you have the turret on the top that you can mount, which I think they should have more crew members for, just almost just because of the turret. So there's also an elevator in this hangar. I know that's. Your hangar's so big compared to mine. I know. This, this is the is tiny and dark. Yeah, this if the elevator is at the top, you can press this, like press F on it, and it calls this down. It's kind of cool. But then the elevator door won't close. Oh really? Yeah, it was. <laughs> at least it wasn't earlier. I'll see if it still does that. But we're gonna run to the far side just so we can do this. We. And every ship you get, this gets longer and longer. <laughs> like norm, this as a normal size thing was kind of cool, but now it's just excessive. Yeah. You can see my mouse in the corner. Let me just. No. Okay, there we go. It's still there. <laughs> so you press use on that thing. It opens this up. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of curious because all the hangers that I've seen, they have doors to, like, outside the hangar. Yeah, of course. So I'm kind of curious to where, if we're going to even be able to go outside the. Well, not those doors, because that's... Well, the... I know, but I'm, I was going to explain something. This will lead out to, like, the planet itself, I think. Because you know how there's, like, yeah. landing outside? Yeah. You'll fly into here if you get clearance to land. Or you'll fly outside and land outside for temporary stuff. But you'll fly into these, and then the door that was up there, like, in the middle, will probably lead out to the, the main, like, dock-type area. The, like, where you're going to find the bars and the, mer yeah. and the merchants and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, let's see if this works this time. Okay, so elevator comes down, door opens. It wasn't closing earlier, but let's What's give it a second. What's this? I don't. On the wall. On the wall? That's a light. No, 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 that you're standing on. I don't know. I just noticed it though. 
I didn't see yeah, that. Yeah, I just saw it too. Okay, back to this. Yeah, the door isn't, door isn't closing. I'll have to get inside. What is this? This is cool. Looks like. Is that maybe the light switch? <laughs> I was thinking either that or that's the hangar release. Oh, but that, that could I'm be too. That'd probably be in there though, because that's all sealed off. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's get inside and see if it closes. It wasn't closing earlier when I tried. Oh. Huh. What do you know? Oh, that's. Oh, God. That's going to cause motion sickness. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know what else there is to show. Uh, anyways, here I am with Mobius Killer. Uh, enjoy. Leave a like so if you like up. it, and subscribe if you want more. Bye. Bye.